morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Brad's RCs, RCS, or Brad's RCs. He was first to say first to one of my recent videos, and that's what's his shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And I have a neat new review for you today. This is the Sea Eagle Flying RC Aircraft. Now, you know, my uh, channel, I do a lot of quadcopters, but a lot of my viewers also are interested in possibly flying model airplanes. So I'd like to have a little series. This is the idea of why I'm flying model airplanes, folks, if you're wondering. Uh, introductory airplanes that are good for beginners, okay? Um, most of the airplanes I fly, if not all of them, <laughs> are suitable for beginners, and that's why they're on the channel here. Uh, hopefully, you know, for those of you who have never tried airplanes before, they could be a lot of fun. So, you know, don't poo-poo them, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, what's so special about this one, the Sea Eagle? Well, it has built-in gyro stabilization, which makes flying very easy. It has both 6G and 3G uh, uh, stabilization. Now, what's the difference between 6G and 3G? 6G includes um, three-axis uh, gyros stabilization. It has sens uh, three sensors for pitch, roll, and yaw. And it also has accelerometers. It senses side slip, so it can, or up-down movement, such as from, um, that comes in handy if it gets buffeted around by uh, wind. Uh, the accelerometers will sense the wind buffeting it and try to smooth out the flight. Now, you can also select 3G, where it's just, it doesn't have the accelerometers. It just has the gyro uh, stabilization. And what the gyros will do will prevent the aircraft from rolling over. You'll still get buffeted by the wind. <laughs> But the aircraft won't roll over or pitch over or flip over, okay, with the gyros uh, sensor stabilization. And finally, you can turn all that off and fly it manually. Since this is a trainer aircraft with dihedral, the dihedral is that angle that you see in the wind. What that does is will automatically stabilize the aircraft if you let go of the pitch roll stick. It should stabilize itself and come into a stable uh, level flight. So if you get into problems, you just let go of the stick and it should automatically balance itself. So, but also in manual mode, you can do full maneuvers such as loops and, well, I don't know about rolls because you're just controlling a uh, rudder here. Now let's go over that. <laughs> okay, this is a three axis or three channel state aircraft, which means you have throttle control and you have rudder control and you have elevator control. Okay, that will enable the uh, rudder control will enable you to bank and turn. The uh, or actually the rudder control, the elevator control controls up or down pitch of the aircraft, and the throttle control you increase throttle to go up, and decrease throttle to come down. Okay, so that's it. Um, this is all powered by a simple small 3.7 volt 200 milliamp per hour battery, very tiny. That's velcroed in there, and I put a piece of tape too to make sure it don't fall out because that velcro is not very good. And this is its controller. Um, it's from the old M80S uh, Ready to Fly Tiny Whoop. They reused its controller for this particular aircraft. But this button here selects between three axes and six axis stabilized mode. If you want to turn off those two, uh, you just hit this button here and it'll enter in full manual mode so you can do loops. And this is your throttle. There is no yaw, but yaw is, or roll control should or turning control should be through the roll stick since this is a three axis stabilized aircraft and you also have pitch control here. And these buttons here, this will be your throttle trim, this will be your roll trim or yaw trim if you wish <laughs> to call it that, and your pitch trim. So that's it. The other buttons on this are all inoperative. So let's plug in the battery, put it on the ground and take it for a flight. Hope you enjoy this flight. Um, I'm gonna try to take off in the dirt today since I flew a Predator yesterday, and it worked very well in the dirt. Let's see if this does too. So, uh, plugging in the battery, checking the pins, where they are, and plugging the battery in. Very tiny, very tiny connector on this. I forgot what this is called, but maybe somebody out in the audience here can uh, chime in with that size connector. It's very tiny, but there we go. It's plugged in. And put it on the ground. And actually, I was supposed to have the transmitter on, I believe. But let's see if that matters. No, nah, there we go. Okay, we are bound. Let me check the surfaces. There's left and right rudder. And down and up elevator and throttle. Everything's working. 
Let's see if this will take off. Yeah, let's try it again. Give it up elevator. There we go. Give it some up elevator so that the, um, whatchamacallits, <laughs> <Don't, laughs> the propeller <laughs> doesn't impact the ground. But there we go. Fully stabilized. Very, very nice little flyer. Okay, I'm turning off. Let's see if I can do a loop. Yeah, almost. But stabilization is off, and I just let go of the stick and it stabilizes itself. So, yeah, this is... Let me see if I can do a loop by giving it down and up. There we go. One, two, three. Then letting go of the stick, and it stabilizes itself. Okay, let's go back to 3G mode. Or that should be 6G. Let's see if I can roll it. Ah, I don't know, folks. Is that stabilized? Oh, both of them <laughs> lets you do loops. So I'm not so sure about the stabilization system on this. I'm cutting off the throttle. We're going to bring it back down. I want to check that out. Because that shouldn't have let me do loops. But it did. Let's bring it back down. It's gliding. It's gliding. That should not have let me do loops like that. Boy, it's a gentle flyer, though. Even though it's not, the stabilization might not actually be working. Even though the stabilization might not actually be working, it is still a stable flyer, or gentle flyer, very gentle. Okay, what I am going to do is I am going to turn off the airplane by unplugging it. So I get my thumb in there. And then turn off the transmitter. Now, the important thing in the directions, <laughs> they said turn on the transmitter first. Okay, so the transmitter's on, throttle is down, and then plug in the battery. So that's where I might have been in error, why the stabilization was not working. Okay, let's see if that works that time. Okay, and the wind's coming from that direction right now. And Okay, it's bond now. And checking surfaces. Okay, let's try it again. Again, I'm going to give it a little, get a little speed, and then I'm going to give it upward uh, pull on the uh, elevator to get it into the air, and it goes straight into the air. Fun little. Okay, now that's worked. Well, maybe it's not. <laughs> very, very gentle flyer, though. But I think it's not stabilized, folks. Well, it's there now. It is. Yeah, it's stabilized. It won't let me, or what do you call it? Um, loop. How about pitching? Oh, no. You can roll it over, though. Oh, I guess you can do over. I don't know. Let me see. Let me turn it around. Let's see if I can do a loop. Throttle down and pull back. No, no, it won't. So it is stabilized now. But once you turn off that stabilization, you can't turn it back on, it appears. So keep that in mind, folks. Boy, it's staying up there nicely. Let's bring it down. We're just going to fly it low for the remainder of the battery. Throttle is off. It is a very nice glider. <laughs> and that's because of its very lightweight foam. This airplane is very, very lightweight. Um, I got a feeling it's not going to work very well in the wind for that meaning. <laughs> but if you got a windless day, or flying, say, indoors in a uh, gym, this would be a nice summer, or nice winter to learn to fly airplane indoor for indoor flying. Okay, look at that thing. Let's give it a little more throttle. Get a little closer. Nice little flyer. It's actually not too bad. Now I'm not going to go back to manual. Um, it can do loops, but I want to show you it up close. Again, I want to show you it flying as a beginner airplane, where you're, you're just flying gentle like this and learning to turn. That's a nice job. This is actually a very nice plane. And that little battery, I guess, gives it 
sufficient power. Now it has LVC cutoff too. When the battery gets low, it's it's going to land itself, or if it loses signal from the transmitter, it'll land itself. But um, you don't want to run it down all the way to that point. Once I start noticing uh, less power from the motors, that's when I'm going to land it. Boy, it's a nice gentle flyer. This one, the better little, the most gentle flyer I've seen. Let's see if I can do this with that in manual mode. I'm going back to manual. Okay, back to manual. I can turn a little hard. <laughs> I can turn a little harder, a lot harder actually. But again, all you do is let go of the stick, folks, when you get into trouble. Now, since I'm in this mode, I don't think I can go back to stabilized mode. But I can do tricks. Let's try that. Coming down wind. Let's see if I can do it. Increasing throttle. Let go of the stick. And it stabilizes itself. So yeah, you can do tricks with this now. <laughs> yeah, um, don't let that 6G and the 3G stabilized mode become a crutch for you, especially with these trainer airplanes. You don't really need that. It's, you know, maybe the first few flights that you're flying it, use the 6G and the 3. Start off with 6G, then switch to uh, 3G mode, 3D mode, and then once you feel comfortable, just turn them off. Turn it off and then just fly it normally. And again, you get in trouble, just let go of the stick. This dihedral airplane should level itself. It's nicely balanced, I got to say. Very nicely balanced for an airplane right out of the box. <laughs> okay, cutting off the st throttle and letting go of the stick. And there we go, it stabilizes itself. So, very nice trainer, very nice trainer. But again, I don't know about windy days, but then again, it's got stabilization, so maybe. On windy days, you just turn on those uh, sensors. There is a little wind today. It's going downwind right now. And I'm surprised how long this thing's flying with that tiny, tiny battery. Cutting off the throttle. I want, to, I want you to see it gliding. Throttle's off. Throttle's back on again. And it's still unstabilized right now. Nice little plane. The wind's hitting it now. Now we got some wind. Now it's being buffeted. <laughs> there. It's motionless in the in the wind right now, but even with the wind, it's a good flyer, a good trainer. Boy, oh boy, it's long flying. Let's try a touch and go. Yeah, gotta go back downwind again. Going back downwind, I'm gonna try it right here. See if I can line up for a landing there. Got me in, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. <laughs> and then go again. Off we go. Again, I got the stabilization turned off. I'm just gonna fly it like this. Because stabilization can get boring. <laughs> you know, you can't do anything like that. Let's try a roll. No, I wouldn't try a roll. Loop though. There we go. <laughs> Cutting throttle. Letting it glide. Very stable airplane, folks. Again, you don't need the stabilization turned on. Nice trainer. Nice little trainer. Very nice trainer. Easy to fly. Now, these beginner airplanes that I've been uh, flying lately, uh, they're good for learning. You gotta learn orientation, you know, flying up on, flying in. So, you know, people say you reverse controls. That's not the way to think about it, folks. The way I do it is when I'm flying up on, flying in, I pretend, 
put my mind like I'm sitting in the airplane. Like I, I imagine that I'm sitting in the airplane. And I'm saying, okay, I got to turn right. Now I got to turn left. That's how you do it, folks. Don't, don't say reverse controls when it's coming toward you because that'll just get confusing. I'm amazed how long this thing can fly with that little battery. <laughs> Fun little plane. Okay, let's try a loop again. Let's see if I got power for a loop. Yep, still had enough power for a loop. Got back the throttle now. I hardly need any throttle to keep this in the air. Now, range is at 120 meters, but I don't recommend flying out that far because you will lose orientation when you do that. This is a tiny little airplane. So, but you, this is definitely a good park flyer. Speaking of which, nah, I want to land on the surface. I was going to go out in the grass, but nah. Okay, throttle's starting to get a little weak now. I got to apply more, a little more throttle to stay in here. So, I got a feeling it's starting to get close to the end of its flight time. So we'll land it. That's about enough for you folks to... Yeah, I'm having fun with it though. <laughs> I think I'll keep flying. I'm having too much fun. We're gonna get, get more flight out of it. Let's take it up a little bit higher this time. Let's take it up high. Increasing throttle, I'm at, I'm at one third throttle and it's climbing. Climbing very well. So no, that battery is not dead yet. Climbing very nicely. Let's turn to the right now. And again, I've been flying most of this flight unstabilized. The reason being, this thing's so easy to fly, you really don't need no stabilization. <laughs> it just let go of this stick, folks, and it steadies itself. Okay, we are up there now. Let's try. I want to roll it. Let go of the stick. And steadies itself. Excellent beginner's airplane. Excellent. Let's try something again. Let go of the stick. Cut throttle. Steadies itself. See? Excellent trainer. Let's try that again. Let go of the stick steadies itself. Let go of the stick. Excellent, excellent little plane. Excellent beginner's plane. Okay, let's do one more loop. Let go of the stick. Throttle is off. I'm just letting it glide and it steadies itself. A little more throttle, stay in the air. <laughs> I am just in awe how long this little plane can fly on that little battery. Ooh, ooh, let's go chase this guy. Come back here. Get back here. Get back here. <laughs> is there another one? Chasing the ravens. Well, this is a exceptionally long flyer for, what is that, 150 milliamp hour? I don't remember what it was, 200? It was tiny. Oh, there he goes, there's another one. Come back here, come back here. Okay, wind is picking up a bit. Again, I'm flying unstabilized without stabilization. Now that wind is pummeling it. So now is the, where you would want to turn on that stabilization. You know, when you get wind like that. See what the wind's doing, folks? So I'm gonna land it and turn on the stabilization. But again, let's see if I can. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe that did it. There we go. It is stabilized. I didn't need to do that. 
See these guys? There's a thermal right here, and I'm going to see if I can go up into it. When these, you see these guys circling, that means there's a thermal. Let's catch in. Let's go with them. Let's catch that thermal with these guys. See the trees? The trees are uh, making noise. Thermal's over there. I've stayed over here. I better bring, actually, I better come down here or else I could lose this airplane. <laughs> If it gets, if that's a strong thermal, it sounds like it is. I don't know if you can hear the uh, leaves rustling. So I'm coming back down, folks. Throttle is off. Long flying plane. Wow, I'm just amazed how long this can fly in that tiny, tiny battery. That's just. Going downwind, coming back upwind. Excellent beginner's plane. I mean, really nice, nicely done. But downside of it, though, is it is EPS foam. Uh, the good side of EPS foam is extremely lightweight, so you don't need a lot of power to keep this in the air. The downside of EPS foam is it's styrofoam <laughs> so um, it can get damaged if you crack it up hard you know other foams like EPP you know those are stronger in impact but then again this one is so lightweight it doesn't have a lot of momentum so I don't see you hurting it very badly in a well I guess you could I'm not gonna say you can't do it but I guess you could break it <laughs> The wind is strong behind my back here, so I'm flying into the wind right now. It's being buffeted. That's with the the sensors, the stabilization systems. Oh, the wind's coming from that way now. Well, I'm going to call it quits here, folks. It's I think that's more than enough to give you an idea of this thing, but it can fly longer than I <laughs> what I'm flying it at. Going downwind now, the wind's at my back now. Let's land it. Throttle off, coming down. There we go. <laughs> so that's the sea eagle. I'm not taking it all the way down until its battery's dead. But you can see that this little, uh, how many milliamp per hour is that? 200 milliamp per hour battery is giving a heck of a long flight time. I'm just I'm unbelievable. So that's the Seagull. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out.